Mm, hi, uh, my project is called uh, Identification of Underwater Objects from uh, Size Scan Sonar Images. Um, the problem is defined as follows. Uh, the size scan sonar travels around the um, travel around a certain area uh, underwater uh, and it takes images on both its left hand side and right hand side. Uh, we are interested in uh, finding out uh, how many objects there are and what they are. Uh, for example, whether it's a mine or it's a rock. Uh, the data is just simulated data, but the ideas are the same. Okay. Um, here are the steps to solve this problem. First, we must um, detect objects uh, in any single image. Uh, there can be one object, uh, multiple objects, or, or maybe nothing at all. Um, second thing is that... Um, uh, second thing is sensor fusion. Uh, any single objects can be seen a few times, so uh, it is necessary to find out which object uh, images correspond to the same object. Then, uh, features are extracted from the object images. Lastly, we do classification uh, based on a few training instances. Now, let's go to the details. Um, the Canny Edge detector is used for uh, contour extraction. Um, a Gaussian filtering is first performed. The larger sigma is, um, the more average or blurred the image will be. Then the intensity gradient is found by, uh, by taking derivatives on x and y uh, directions. Uh, after uh, thinning the edges, we find the, um, we find the edges use a uh, hysteresis uh, thresholding. The higher the high, high threshold is, um, the less contours it will extract. Um, 0.04 is good here, um, because it finds the object and while not introducing too many false positives like this threshold point uh, is 0.02 does. Um, it is non-trivial to uh, map all the uh, contours uh, to their corresponding objects. Um, one approach that it's easy to think about is clustering. Um, this is the formula for uh, Gaussian mean shift. Uh, we notice that if uh, x i naught is replaced by uh, x i n minus one, then it becomes a uh, Gaussian blurring mean shift. Uh, after s uh, several iterations, it still needs another step, uh, which construct clusters from image, and I will show it later. The advantage of mean shift is that uh, it does not need the number of clusters uh, like k-means does. Uh, however, it is still hard to um, adjust the kernel size. Uh, I will show the program here. Okay, so um, mm, here uh, sigma is one. Uh, the blue thing is the contour, and the uh, mm, we, we, which is also the initial data. Uh, we can see that uh, it takes some time, and it still gets the wrong answer here. So. Uh, Mm. If the kernel size is smaller, say uh, 0.05, uh, we may end up with more clusters than actual. So both of them are incorrect. Uh, plus, uh, there are more than 300 images, so finding a single good parameter is difficult here. Uh, in this study, uh, we use a more heuristic solution, which is actually better. Uh, we can just find the connectivity of binary images, mm. like uh, like this. So this gives you uh, perfect results. Mm. Uh, one uh, pre-processing necessary here is to uh, morphologically close the image because some contours are not strictly connected. 
uh, like uh, like this one. We need to uh, close it using the MATLAB uh, command im close, and we see that the result is improved. I will run another program in advance because it takes some time. Um, okay, um, so. So this is all identified objects. Uh, they are like this. Okay. Uh, so the next step is sensor fusion. Um, as mentioned before, uh, sensor fusion is to find the uh, correspondence of uh, object Im images. Uh, in other words, we must find the absolute geographical locations of them. Uh, it is done by this. Uh, First, we determine the object's relative position x r y r, and uh, then we find the uh, sonar's absolute position x o y o, and also the uh, distance between the object and the sonar. Um, there's a difference when it's a star port image or a starboard image. Port and starboard are just um, nautical uh, terms, which basically means left and right. Then we need to find the sonar's direction theta, uh, defined by arctangent delta y uh, over delta x. And uh, here Lx is um, alpha x, the coefficient, times L times uh, sine theta, and uh, Ly is alpha y times L uh, times cosine theta. So um, the objects absolute position x s y s is just uh, x o y o plus l x l y mm. actually I spend much time uh, tweaking here uh, at first I don't even know how to find x r y r because it's not uh, given by the data information uh, but later I realize that it's it's the center of the uh, light blue area the result is very very good here. Uh, one important thing to notice is that uh, the side scan sonar takes pictures which is perpendicular to its moving direction. So there is a so-called um, y invariability. Mm. Now we come to uh, feature extraction. Uh, from the fields data, we know that a bunch of uh, detecting uh, detections corresponds to the same objects. So we want to use the most representative one, like the uh, largest or second largest area. Um, here, for simplicity, I will just use the object's uh, lightest surface, this one, uh, instead of the whole thing, because its body, um, the, the object's body, does not carry much more information except maybe its length. Uh, the simplest feature is just the enclosed area. Uh, the enclosed area is this one. Uh, also, uh, it is intuitive to think that um, if the uh, original shape is an ellipse, then the area ratio of uh, the um, minimum bounding ellipse and uh, the uh, uh, area itself should be close to one. Um, the same goes for a uh, parallelogram or rectangle. Uh, this is done by using the concept of a uh, convex hull, a convex hull. Uh, but I didn't code this part by myself. Uh, we can see that uh, the ellipse area ratio works better than uh, better than the parallelogram here. Uh, I will see if it's done. Uh, yeah, it's already done. Just to confirm that this works. So, uh, the last step is uh, classification. Uh, there are a whole lot of classification algorithms. Um, I'm using something I'm familiar with called a uh, Bayesian surprise. Uh, first, we introduce the uh, cauchy schwarz divergence, uh, which is a similarity measure um, between two PDFs. Uh, this is a definition for, uh, for continuous PDF. Uh, in reality, uh, the PDF needs to be estimated by uh, by mixture of Gaussian or Poisson window, but uh, luckily there is a uh, some some guy a purposes uh, 
closed form solution. Uh, okay, we are back. Uh, so uh, somebody proposed this uh, closed form uh, uh, DCS. Um, let's see. So uh, the uh, surprise here uh, is the DCS between the prior distribution and uh, the new distribution when a new instance is taken into consideration. Um, uh, for example, uh, if you think that a new instance is mine, then there is a uh, surprise mine. Similarly, there is also a surprise rock. The assumption with uh, the least surprise will be regarded as the uh, class that the object actually belongs to. Uh, note that surprise needs normalization. Because when the number of chain instances are different, it's unbalanced. It will actually have an impact on the result. This is already done theoretically and in the code, but I won't talk about this in detail here. Okay, uh, so if all features are uh, chosen, then we get this confusion matrix. Um, whereas if only the total area and the minimum bounding ellipse features are chosen, um, we get a perfect result. Uh, I must point out that this is largely due to uh, the data is quite clean, not because the classifi classifier is good. You know, uh, in classification, if you have good data, then you have good results. If you have bad data, even if your classifier is good, it, you, it's not guaranteed that the results are good. So, uh, um, now let's see a experiment. Hmm. So we can see that even if uh, there are so few uh, chain instances and they are unbalanced, the result is still perfect. Okay, um, so uh, future work will be uh, concentrated on mainly two aspects. When the data is more noisy, we may need a different detector. Uh, also, uh, if we want to, if we want an online identification. Uh, Instead of a batch mode one, uh, we may need better features. In the case when only uh, part of the objects are known, say if we know uh, rock one, uh, mine one, but we don't know rock two, type two, uh, active learning may be necessary in this case. Uh, thanks for watching.